Hey, you cat. Mm. <laughs> well, what do you think? No, well, then what are you doing? What, um... I'm growing a beard, because my parents moved to Miami Beach. Makes sense. <laughs> Probably do the same thing. I, we know that your parents moved down mm -hmm. there, Gab, but what does that got to do with you growing a beard? I mean, or that you're just proving that you have a green thumb. Oh, no, no. <laughs> See, I can only grow this beard because my mother is not here to tell me not to. I mean, that woman actually used to try to run my life. Did you ever hear of such a thing? No, wait, I've heard tell of such mothers as this. <laughs> my heart goes out to their children. Yeah. Well, it's over now. I am free. I am free at last. Ooh, I am going to grow a beard from here to Long Island. I'm going to go out and stay out all night, not have to answer to anyone. Going to date women of all creeds. I can finally be a self-sufficient, mature, independent adult, master of my own destiny. Listen, uh, could uh, one of you come up and show me how to turn on my oven? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Gary, you know how to do that. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, I, I never really had to. Uh, you know, my mom used to drop by and bring dinner, and uh, after a year, I got to like it. Oh. <laughs> now, wait a minute, wait a minute, Gary. What about all those times you've made dinner for me? See, Brenda, I'm fine. I'm fine on top. I just have trouble, you know, finding my way around inside. That, uh... <laughs> how come you never mentioned it before? Ah, you know, a, a grown man can't, you know, turn on his own oven. I don't know. It doesn't go with the rest of my image. Gary, just exactly what is your image? Well, you know, very mature, attractive, take-charge guy. Well, you had me fooled. <laughs> you. Everybody thought I could cook. Yeah, Brown. Yeah, okay, okay. Hi, come on in. Shh. From. Gary, two days ago, I showed him how to turn on his oven, and ever since then, he's been treating me like I'm his mommy. <laughs> you know, so far, he has asked me to iron his clothes, defrost his refrigerator, teach him how to vacuum. Mm -hmm. By the time I showed him how to use all the attachments, I had vacuumed his entire apartment. <laughs> now he expects me to believe that he is too feeble to sew a button on his shirt. <laughs> uh, you know, you'd have to be real stupid to fall for that one, boy. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Oh, no, 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 don't go, please. Gary, yeah. Gary, what are you doing? I'm just filling in my beard. With my eyebrow pencil? Yeah, you need a new one of these things, you know? <laughs> oh, Rhoda, I'm starved. What's for lunch? Gary, my patience is starting to wear very thin. I am not making your lunch. Oh, come on, please. Huh, just this once, please, please. Don't whine. I told you not to whine. It wasn't whining. I was just asking. Now he's going to pout. Would you please sew the baby's button on his shirt? I will make his lunch. Oh. You know, he's a little like an animal raised in captivity. If we turned him loose in the wild, he'd starve. <laughs> if we turned him loose in a supermarket, he would starve. So what do you want for lunch, Gary? How about some tuna fish, huh? I'm not crazy about tuna fish, man. Well, now, wait a minute. Did you ever try it? Listen, it's really tasty, and it's full of nutrients, just chock full of vitamins. Listen to me, I sound like his mother. <laughs> Gary, you will have to feed yourself, all right? Yeah, Rhoda, I don't have any food in my house. So you go buy some. I don't know how to shop. What's to know? You go to the store, you look, and you pick out food. I don't know how to pick out food. You will learn. <laughs> and right now. Come on. Drop the magazine. Gary, come with me. Right now. I mean it. Sit. All right. Lesson number one. Recognizing food. <laughs> this, Gary, is a chop. I know that. This. It's a grapefruit. <laughs> Study them both closely. Notice the characteristics that differentiate them, one from the other. Not so fast, not so fast. He may want to take some notes. True. <laughs> okay, this is... I don't know what this is. <laughs> i got to clean out my refrigerator. Broda, I'm not that stupid. I know the different kinds of food. I just don't know what to look for when I shop. 
All right, yeah, there are some tips. So, when you're looking for meat, you see this steak? Mm -hmm. See these little streaks of, of white? Yeah. That's yeah. fat, and it's called marbling. Yeah, is that good? Well, a little fat is good. Too much is bad. And cows and people. <laughs> Look, Rhoda, wouldn't it be much easier if you just went to the supermarket? Buying the fish. <laughs> Here. Now smell this, Gary. I don't smell anything. That's good. That means it's fresh. See, you're learning right along. Look, Rhoda, I'll never be able to do this. Okay, it's just too shopping much for produce. All right? Knock this melon. You hear that? That means it's ripe. Look, Rhoda, okay, I'll never be able to do it. Take this tomato. Squeeze it. <laughs> Lesson number two, washing your shirt. <laughs> so it's been going on for yeah. over a week now. Jack, well, Gary is just driving me nuts. Want my advice? Yes. Get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, easier said than done. He's, he's practically moved in. Then you gotta be cold-blooded. Just say no more mothering. Get out of here, you bum. <laughs> That's what I did. Yeah? Who'd you do that to? My mother. <laughs> and Mom, what are you doing to that gorilla face? The customer asked for a young gorilla, so I'm ironing out the wrinkles. <laughs> Hi, Rhoda. Hi, guys. Hello. Gary, what brings you here, Gary? I need underwear. <laughs> yeah, but we don't rent underwear. No, I, I, I don't want to rent some. I want you to buy me some. You want me to go... He wants me to buy his underpants. How much does he want for them? <laughs> Gary, why? Would you tell me why you would ask me to do that? Yeah, I'm dying to hear the answer to that one, too, Gary. <laughs> well, my mother always bought my underwear for me. I get embarrassed going into a store asking for personal stuff like that. Uh-huh. Well, you have to deal with your embarrassment, Gary. I'm not your mother. I'm not buying your clothes, any of your clothes. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about it at lunch, okay? No, we will not talk about it at lunch. Uh, Gary, listen, I, I am working here. Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> hold it, hold it, pal. Nobody waits here. This is the place of business, not a lounge. Now, come on, Jack. Let me stay, huh? All right, all right. You want to stay? Go in the back and sort boots with Ramon. Ramon! Come on. If we start right now, in just a little while, you'll be sick of it. <laughs> Jack, why did you let him stay? Hold it, hold it, Morgenstern. I got an idea. Well, I can't go to lunch with him. You already know that I had a lunch date with my mother. Yeah, I know you have a lunch date with your mother. And letting him stay is not helping my situation. Thanks you a lot, let pal. let me tell you my He's idea. He's driving me nuts, I that got a guy. solution what for What am I going to do? Listen to me. What could I possibly do that would make him never want to be mothered by anybody again? <laughs> Do it. Oh, no. no. Hi, Jack. Jack, it's too drastic. What is? I got a desperate situation, Morgan Stern. It calls for extreme measures. Am I early? No, you're just fine, Ma. But it seems unnecessarily cruel. Am I late? Sometimes you gotta be cruel to be kind. That's true. Yeah, but this is a human being who could be scarred for life. Life is full of tough choices. When I was in the army, I once had to call down artillery fire on my own platoon. You think that was an easy decision? That was not easy, Rhoda. Especially at Fort Dix. <laughs> to this day, I'm not welcome in New Jersey. Who is? I just can't bring myself to do it. No. We'll see. Rhoda? Yeah? Uh, do you think it's okay if I eat a candy bar now, or will it spoil my appetite? <laughs> Gary, I want you to go to lunch with my mother. Why? Yeah, why? Well, because I'm so busy, you know? You want lunch, he wants lunch. Besides, Ma, Gary's very low. His mother just moved away to Florida. Oh, you... Who 
Oh, baby. See, this way you can advise him on a few things where he needs advice and keep him company. Uh, really, that's not necessary. Oh, no. Come on. I can see Rhoda anytime. Tomorrow, the next day. Come on. We'll have lunch. Oh, well, all right. Maybe we'll grab a hot dog somewhere or something. A hot dog. That's what you call lunch? I want you to have a good, nourishing meal. <laughs> Incidentally, when was the last time you shaved? <laughs> Cute. Don stupid. Uh, Jack, we haven't sent this out in so long. I had no way of telling what shape it was in unless I saw it on somebody. So how does the head feel, okay? Well, pick it off. Pick All it right, off. Right, pick the right, head off. Right. Sweat. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Let me see. Here. Hey. <laughs> you better not be enjoying this. Jack, I'm just checking it out. I gotta wire these legs. Here. Hey. 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 There's a sandwich in the pocket. A sandwich? Bologna. Oh, must belong to Ramon. Or the baby kangaroo likes to snack in bed. <laughs> Speaking of babies, whatever happened to your friend with the mother complex? Oh, Gary. Yeah. I haven't heard a peep out of him for, uh, for about a week now. Yeah, don't knock it. I'm not knocking it. I just feel a little guilty, you know, turning my mother loose on him like I did. Yeah, yeah. other fates worse than that. Yeah? Name yeah. one. Wearing a kangaroo suit. Would you stop this? I know. Just calm down. Mm. It's just one more little... Come here. What? Come here. There's one... Yeah. One little test what I need test? you to make for what? me. What do you mean, test? Well, I gotta see that the costume is fully functional, it's right? It's functional. What? Jack. Hop. <laughs> uh, You're on very thin ice. I, I'm not kidding you. I'm deadly serious. I want to see that the customer will be able to hop in this. Now, just come on, Jack. Hop. <laughs> Another, a little more energy. More like a kangaroo, please. Larger. <laughs> nice big hop. That's kind of like a frog. Okay, now, come on. That's it. I'm going to have to wire this to Good, Jack. Good. <laughs> <laughs> keep laughing, keep laughing. I'll hop on your face. <laughs> so, Gary, long time no see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, how, how is everything going? Fine, fine. Look, I just came by to remind you that you and Brenda are expected at your mother's for dinner tonight. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Gary, let me ask you something. Yeah. Is everything fine with you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah, I've never been happier in my life. Really? Yeah. And, and, and you're not mad at me for any reason? No, of course not. What? <laughs> Okay, look, I'll see you at dinner, okay? You, you're gonna be there? Sure. How come? Me, you, Brenda, just the immediate family. <laughs> the immediate family? Sure. You know, when Mom works hard enough to cook for us, the least we can do is show some appreciation. Yeah, right. I mean, it's bad enough you never call, you don't drop in. Well, Gary, I said I'm gonna be there okay, tonight. Okay, okay. <laughs> Be here. Yeah, well, he's. Pop a... had a very important poker game tonight, but we'll keep something warm from in the oven, won't we, Ida? Right. Oh, uh, anybody want seconds? Mm -hmm. You let me get them. You've been on your food all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't he thoughtful? Get him out of here. <laughs> 
Mom, what are you talking about? I'm talking about going out of my mind. You sicked him on me, you get him out of my life. I, I just hold it, hold it. Wait a minute here. First of all, I sicked you on him. You see. We can talk about that later, and we will. But right now, I'm going crazy. Wait, 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 Ma, back up. I'm confused here. Isn't, isn't Gary everything you could ask for in a son? Yeah, but who asked for him? <laughs> Linda, he never leaves me alone. I, uh, I dropped the potatoes on the floor. But uh, don't worry, I'll mop it up. Where's the mop? Where you left it this afternoon when you dropped the jello mold. <laughs> I can understand why his family moved to Florida. I don't understand why they told him. Do you believe this? I can't believe my ears. I mean, this... It's Ida Morgan's turn, the bionic mother. <laughs> All right, stop with the jokes. Not only bugging me, he's bugging your father. Your father didn't have a poker date tonight. He's reading a magazine in a bowling alley, <laughs> waiting for your friend to get out of here. Oh. Ida? Uh, I, I put the uh, potatoes in the paper bag, but the wastebasket is full. Uh, what should I do with the bag? Stuff it. <laughs> Getting on your nerves, huh? Not getting on my nerves. He's eating right through them. He's here all the time. If he isn't here, he calls. If he doesn't call, he sends candy grams. He's totally devoted to me. I can't stand it. Ah, listen, if that was us doing that, you would love it. Yes, sir, but only because you don't do it. Oh, I tell you, he is really driving me crazy. Uh, I, uh, as long as I was up, I put the uh, coffee pot on the stove to warm up. Gary... It's an electric percolator. Oh, so that's what the smell is. Excuse me. I am going to kill him. Would you do something, please? Why, why do you need us to do something, Ma? Tell him. I mean, since when did you need any help from anybody? Darling, to tell this boy thinks of your father and me as his parents. He loves us. He's like my own son. I can't be cruel to him. Coffee? Yes, I can. Put that down. Come over here. I want to tell you something. Oh, and I want to tell you something. I was just in the kitchen there thinking about how happy I've been these past few days, and I just wanted to tell you how grateful I am. You and, and Martin have become the family I always, uh, had. I can't do it. Help me. Help you with what? Ma, I, I will do my part, but only because I'm partly responsible. Responsible for what? How to do it. <clears throat> Gary. Yeah. You're spending too much time here. What? Ida. Ida, is that true? The girls think so, yes. <laughs> yes, Gary, it's true. Is it something I said? Something I did? No, no, Gary, it has nothing to do Wait a second. My hair, isn't it? My hair's too long. I know it. I can cut it shorter. No, no it's too short. I'll grow it longer. It doesn't matter. Gary, I can change. It is it my... Wait, is it my clothes? I know. A lot of people say it's my clothes. I'll change. I'll do anything you want. I can be a completely different person. Nicer. I'll be nicer. You want me taller? I can be... Oh, shorter. You want me shorter? No, okay, no. look, I'll be shorter. It doesn't Gary, matter. No, I can come around less. No, it doesn't Gary, matter. I, I know that sometimes no, I can get no, on no, people's nerves. I come Gary, around some... Gary, Gary, listen. Gary, the is. You are a grown-up, and grown-ups do not need mothering. Isn't that what you wanted me to tell him, Ma? I mean, that is right, isn't it, Ma? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Ida, what does she mean, I don't need any mothering? What she means, Gair, is that it's not healthy for you because it uh, keeps you from maturing. Right, Ma? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what do you mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's much, much better for a young adult not to have a mother running his or her life. Isn't that the truth, Ma? <laughs> Rhoda, you never used to be a cruel person. <laughs> Ida, Ida, they're wrong, aren't they? Ma, tell them. They... Yeah, tell them yourself. Come on, come on. Come on. Go. Uh, Gary, <clears throat> it really would be better for you if you, uh... I can't do it. Made your own decisions. Made your own decisions. Without interference. Without interference. From a mother. From a mother. 
<laughs> Mother, no matter how badly you go wrong without her advice. <laughs> come on, come on, let's be honest here, I get it. I know, what, what, what you're trying to tell me is that you don't like me and you don't want me around. Oh, no, Gary, yeah. I like you. I just don't want you around. <laughs> Gary, listen to this. Gary, you gotta grow up. Yeah. yeah. And you can do it, Gary. You can start right now. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too young. I'm very immature for my age. You're 29. On the outside. On the inside, I'm 24, 25 tops. Gary, <laughs> come on. Now, you can take care of yourself. I can't. All right, I can't, but I don't want to. Look, if I become self-sufficient... That means I don't need anybody. And if I don't need anybody, that means I won't have anybody. Then if, if, if I get sick, people will say, oh, Gary, well, he, he can take care of himself. And there I'll be. I'll, I'll be sick and alone. Before you know it, I'll die. <laughs> Oh, please. Come on. No, come on. Gary, Mom, let go. Now, look, you're not going to die. You're not going to be sick. You're going to be fine. And if you ever need us, we'll be there. Okay. I need you now. <laughs> you don't. Please, you don't. Please. Yeah, you don't. And you can prove it right now. Gary. Right? Yes. My girls are right. They really are. Yeah. Come on. Put on the coat. No, I can't. Come on, put it on. I can't. Why not? It's rotors. <laughs> come on, Gary. Come on. Listen, now's your chance. Now's your chance to, to be a grown-up. Make a fist. <laughs> I tell you, you should take this opportunity. Because right down the block, there is an all-night market. Yeah, right. You can go there and you'll shop. Yeah. Shop? Yeah. Alone? Absolutely. You get to squeeze tomatoes. Yeah, you smell fish. Yeah, because you're a mature adult. Yeah, you can take care of yourself. Got your money? <laughs> okay, now listen, you be careful crossing streets, you hear? <laughs> and, and don't talk to strangers. It'll be all right. You promise? I promise. Okay. For you, I'll do it. Well, we did it, yeah. We got him out. Yeah, zot your hands. Yeah, I guess you girls are right. It really is better for a man to be on his own. Yeah, absolutely. Girls, on the other hand, <laughs> they always need oh, their no, mother. No, 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 hold it, please, please. There's no difference between men and women. Right. Oh, please. And you're telling me you don't need my advice? <laughs>